In this video walkthrough lesson, we're going to continue our fractions module, and this is lesson 5-1-11a, dividing fractions and whole numbers. And this is a continuation of our word problem series. You'll see this standard featured in this lesson. We're going to be using this worksheet, and you can go to worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com to print out a copy for yourself. You'll find it under our fraction video walkthroughs, and it's entitled Fractions Module, Lesson number 5-1-11a. We have some directions. Solve the following fractions word problem. Show your work using numbers, pictures, and words. Let's get started. Every day, Jeanette's mango juice stand uses three-fourths bags of mangoes. For how many days will six bags of mangoes last? Well, first of all, we have to understand what the problem is asking us. So we'll go through and look for a math job. And if you notice in the last sentence, there is a question. And often, when there's a question at the end of a story or word problem, you have your math job. So, and that's exactly what we have here. For how many days? So we have to figure out how many days will six bags of mangoes last? And then if you go to the previous sentence, you can see some math clues in there as well. Every day, and every day could be considered as each day, so that's every day, Jeanette's mango juice stand uses three-fourths bags of mangoes. You're probably thinking that was a, an important math clue. Good for you. So now we've got to figure out how many times three-fourths will go into six bags of mangoes. In, in other words, you can think of it as the six bags of mangoes divided by three-fourths. Now, sometimes it's easier to visualize these things. So if you can imagine that we have six bags of mangoes, and this time we're going to use our rectangular area models, or sometimes they're called rectangular arrays. And our denominator up here is a four. So the denominator is telling us to divide our bags of mangoes into groups of four, or four equal parts. So there's one, and we do need six. So we're trying to figure out how much six, or how long six bags of mangoes will last if she uses three-fourths of a bag every or each day. So you can go ahead and draw out your bags of mangoes as rectangles. You could use circles if you'd like. We just chose to use rectangles, rectangles or rectangular arrays this time. So it kind of goes with our theme that we've been using. So now you have six bags of mangoes. And according to the problem, we saw that every day Jeanette uses three-fourths bags of mangoes. So each day she's going to use three-fourths or three out of four equal parts that makes up one whole bag. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so I'm thinking that on the first day, she uses three out of four. So if, if you need to visualize that, let's take a look at what that would look like. There's one fourth, two fourths, and three fourths. And that would be each day she uses three fourths of a bag of mango. So on day one, there you had it, she used three fourths. And then on day two, she once again would use three fourths bags of mango. So there's two days. We'll continue this pattern. And on the third day, she used three-fourths again. And then uh, we'll continue this pattern onto the fourth day, onto the fourth day. And she's using, once again, three-fourths bags of mangoes. Oops. On the fourth day, there's one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths on the fourth day. And if you notice here that in... It took her four days to use three bags of mangoes. So you're probably thinking ahead. But if we doubled that amount, we'd probably get the total four of days that it would take her to use six bags. But let's continue our pattern to show our work. Now, we've got day five. She used one, two, 
three fourths and on day six one two three fourths day seven she used one two three fourths and on the eighth day she also used three fourths of a bag of mangoes just like she did every day and you can see right there that it took eight days to use up six bags of mangoes right there so we could say days we'll go back and put that in a complete sentence in a moment so right there is our, our kind of our pictorial or visual fraction model way of solving this six divided by three fourths you can see that three fourths goes into six eight times and therefore it would take Jeanette's mango juice stand eight days to use up all those mangoes oh, six bags so now we'll take a look at the mathematical method again we had the same information we had six divided by three-fourths which is essentially the same as saying six over one as every whole number could be represented as a fraction with one as, a de as its denominator and you can think of six divided by one would equal six there you go every fraction can also be viewed as a division problem so now we'll think we'll continue that idea and we'll go with six over one divided by three over four or three-fourths and now the trick when you're using the mathematical method you want to use the inverse or the reciprocal fraction of three-fourths okay so the reciprocal so we'd flip that upside down the four would be on top and the three would be on bottom or the denominator so let's do that so we've got six over one and this time if we're going to use the inverse fraction or the reciprocal fraction fraction we also have to use the inverse operation and multiplication is the inverse of division so there we go so we're going to flip that second fraction or use the reciprocal and now we could we can multiply so, all right so now we have six times four since we've multiplied fractions in the past uh, we know we can multiply those numerators six times four equals I bet you're thinking 24 you'd be exactly right and now we'll go ahead and multiply those denominators one times three one times three is three and now you've got 24 thirds hmm well how many days would that be well sometimes we have to take that improper fraction and turn it into a whole number or a mixed number let's see what happens we'll look at 24 thirds as a division problem so we've got 24 divided by three or you can think of three goes into 24 how many times you're probably thinking eight times you'd be exactly right three goes into eight I'm sorry three goes into 24 eight times so eight times three is 24 subtract get zero and look at that you got once again the eight days eight days it would take her to use up six bags of mangoes Now, to clear up some confusion, if you're wondering why we could flip that fraction, and we're taking a look at right here, if, why could we flip, flip three fourths? Why would we do that? Well, if you think of an example of 60 divided by 10 equals, well, you could think to yourselves, 10 goes into 60 how many times? Well, 10 20 30 40 50 60 well that would be six times right well 60 times one-tenth would be the same as as 60 divided by 10 and you think think about that you've got 60 divided by 10 equals 6 and if you think about 10 over 1 okay think about that and if you if you did the inverse of that 
because every whole number could be represented as a fraction simply by using one as its denominator. And if you use the inverse of that, you would come up with one-tenth. One-tenth would be the inverse of 10. So we're using the inverse or reciprocal fraction. We also want to take a look at using the inverse operation right there. Inverse is the opposite of division. So multiplication is the inverse of division. So now we can multiply. So 60 divided by 10 equals 6. So 60 times 10, times 1 tenth, I'm sorry, should equal 6. Now, let's, let's check it out. 60 over 1 times 1 tenth should give us the same answer. So here we go. 60 times 1 would be 60. 1 times 10, of course, would be 10. And you're left with 60 tenths. And then you can think of yourself, oh, 60 divided by 10 equals, well, 10 goes into 60 how many times? 6, of course. Ah, so there we go. So this would also be equal to 6. All right, so that is the same. 60 tenths is equivalent to 6. Therefore, 60 times 1 tenth would equal 6. And now we want to go ahead and look at what we've done here today. We used our visual fraction model. So we've got pictures to represent our, our operation. And also we've done this, handled this mathematically as well. Now we want to put the answer in words. So let's take a look. For how many days will six bags of mangoes last? You can answer that question. Six bags of mangoes will last eight days. And there you have it. We used numbers in our mathematical model. We used pictures in our area model to solve this. And we also used words in our complete answer. And that gives us a well-rounded answer and a happy student. And that was dividing fractions and whole numbers. Thanks for checking out worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com. We'll see you again next time.